From the moment they wake up, extreme cheapskates are thinking of new ways to cut costs from their daily routines. Sometimes I actually do want to take my own shower. For Melody Rose, saving money requires the help of the whole family. My family and I are so cheap that we all share one tub of water a day. We don't have cooties. We're never that dirty. It just makes sense to use the same water. My husband will take a bath, then I do, then Bob, then Ronnie. Think about how much water a bathtub uses. I bet there's probably 20, 25 gallons. Four of us, that's 100 gallons a day. I mean, think about it. How stupid is that? When we do our showers together, it's strictly two minutes. There's no hanky-panky at all. It's a two-for-one type deal. We just get in and out so that we can serve our energy, our money. All right, hon, I'm ready for this with suds. Rick uses the suds for my hair on his hair. So that it's like two-for-one on the shampoo. Got some more, I need some more. One bottle of shampoo lasts us like eight months. For cotton swabs, Chris will use one end, and then once she's done, I'll use the other. With the deodorant, we actually share that too, and we're only allowed one wipe per armpit. We share our toothbrush so we don't have to buy another toothbrush. We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. There you go. In our house, we have what we call Navy showers. I go in, turn water on, reach my body off. Cut the water off. Lather your body down. Make sure you get every area, because you can't come back to it. Turn it back on, reach the soap off my body. And get out. I don't really get to watch my full body. I'm a grown ass man. I should be able to just get in there and take a manly shower. Turn it off right now, Patrick. Patrick. Hey, Chicka Plum. What? Are you about done? Yeah, in a little bit. I hear money going down the drain. I don't want to set the stage, so he just comes over and takes these long showers. Hey, come on. Did you turn the water off? Yeah. OK, that isn't the right way to prove a point. Yeah, turn the water back on. Did I make it, though? No. Larry Melvin, a mechanic in McKinney, Texas, saves more than $10,000 a year living in his garage. However, what he saves on rent and utilities, he loses in privacy. I've accidentally walked in on Larry taking a shower. Um, that is a picture I will never get out of my head. I have this basin that I step into. I hook the water hose up to the faucet. I conserve all of this water, and I use it over the course of the day for various things, mopping the floors, cleaning cars. There's nothing I won't do to save a couple bucks. Aspiring pro wrestler Matt Rivera is single, but he still found a partner to help cut his morning grooming costs down to almost nothing. Mom, can you help me shave? Mom! Look up. I shave my head. It's cost efficient. No shampoo, no barber, no conditioner. And on top of that, I look tough. Slower, please. <laughs> Making me nervous. Oh, you're such a chicken. Me and my mom are like best friends. She still does almost everything for me. Can you uh, help me shave my back, too? I will do whatever Matthew needs to save as much as he can. I'm pretty much a sucker when it comes to his, Mom, can you do this for yeah, me? OK. Ouch! Didn't nope. even warn me on that one. <laughs> Wrestlers can pay close to $2,500 a year on hair removal. But by having his mother wax him, Matt gets the same results without spending a dime. Ah! Oh, that was a slow one. Jeez. I buy cheap two-ply toilet paper. But when it comes to toilet paper... I get twice as much as anybody else does for the same price. Everyone has a strategy on saving their money. Utah mom Jordan Page stretches out her toilet paper supply by rationing. How much toilet paper do you think Hutch should have? Cutting her family's use down to just 40 rolls a year. The way to stretch your money is to make everything count. Three. Three? Should we do three? Three. How much do you 
much do you think daddy should use? Jordan always harps on me for using too much toilet paper. Okay, let's try it. It's a sensitive subject. Oh, awesome. Buying toilet paper just doesn't do anything for me. I'm cutting toilet paper squares for our bathroom that we will wash and use instead of paper products. We have a little bin underneath the basket that holds the little toilet wipes where we put them so we can wash them later. And then when it's time to wash, I just pour them in and I never have to touch them with my hands. As a middle class family that makes a good income, I shouldn't have to go into debt to buy toilet paper. All of our cloth wipes that we have in the house, we've been using them for more than five years. This is kind of dirty. It's okay, it's clean. buy toilet paper. I use newspapers that we get free in town. Pick up one sheet. You don't need more than that. You crumple it up, you use it, and then you put it, when you get done, into this bag. And when this bag's full, we take it out and burn it. But I'm not going to do this one because I haven't used it and I don't want to waste it. I've had people say, here, let me buy you a roll of toilet paper. It's not that I can buy a roll of toilet paper. I don't need to. We don't need it. Now, sometimes I've come in here I got boys in the family. They don't always replace newspapers. I've insulated this window with newspapers. Keeps the light out, helps with heating and cooling, and saves me if I'm on the toilet and I need something. I'll get this lift this window, and there's me some more toilet paper. Looking to save on water and fertilizer, millionaire Victoria Hunt has come up with a system that does double duty. This is where I deposit my urine. I had read online that you can put your urine into your compost pile. And I thought, wow, I can build my compost and not have to flush my toilet. My water bill went from $30 a month to $20 a month. I need you to start peeing in a bottle for me. No. How about if I get you your own special bottle? We can have his and hers. OK, fine. I'll try it one time. But when it comes to saving money in the bathroom, no one is more frugal than Kate Hashimoto. I don't use toilet paper. Who doesn't spend a dime on toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have, and I rinse myself off. If I just urinate it, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. If I took a dump, then I also grab soap, wipe myself down with the soap. And then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. Would you mind if I throw in some laundry with you? Just a few things, not a lot, maybe a few things. I think the last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. Whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. And once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. I don't um, use a dryer. Not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out faster. Dishwashing costs can add up fast. Dishwashers are expensive at around $800, and the cost to run them can be several thousand dollars in a year. But like anything, there are ways around that. I actually save my water after my showers. Take it to where I need to use it, including you know, washing the dishes once a week, I think it's kind of gross. It's like taking a bath and washing your dishes in the bathtub with you. You know, that that's not what we consider to be hygienic by any stretch of the imagination. I can see myself in the plate. In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we going to become millionaires off of it? Not per se, but it's, it's going to help us to be able to allocate that money towards a, a better purpose. See? Fun and work. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is a waste of uh, water and energy. So now it's just storage space. This is an electric stove that I got using a free gift certificate. Stephanie Bennett allows herself to use the dishwasher, mm -mm. but uses it to cook up something special. Now, to save money, I multitask with washing dishes 
and cooking meals with my dishwasher. I just gotta make sure I wrap it really well or else the food will get wet. With the dishwasher reaching a temperature of 170 degrees, the lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours. Who else might put these dishes in here? But in order to maximize every penny, cost savings must be found in every corner of the house. We all share a bedroom. We only utilize this one. The rest of the house we blocked off to save on heating and cooling. There's so four of us sleeping here on this king-sized bed. Wintertime, it saves a lot on heating bills because we have the body heat, but we don't mind cuddling. We're just that kind of family, so we can crawl up in here and just go to sleep at night. 